Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll see about the open URL redirection. So first of all, what is URL redirection? So URL redirect is a web server function. So it can be any keywords like you can see the redirect keywords or page keyword or load keyword that will send a user from one URL to another. So user will think that they are just going for the legit website, but instead they will be redirect to another clone website or a malicious website. So redirects commonly take the form of a automated redirect that uses one or series of status code defined within the HTTP protocol. So speaking of the URL redirection, we need to see that some of the HTTP protocol has some codes or HTTP code status code attached to it. So there are several types of redirects that is available to the web developers, including manual redirects, HTTP 3xx series status code. So this is very important. We also see about this 301, 302 and 303 series status code to see if URL redirection is possible in particular parameter or not, because we are in the boundary of XSS. So first of all, we'll see how that parameter is vulnerable or not so first of all we'll see if xss attack is possible on this website or not if this parameter or if that parameter which is reflecting back anything we just pass in that parameter then there is obviously the xss attack because in the case of xss attack there is a reflected xss attack is uh, any input that is given to the parameter is reflected there will be the xss attack and in this case if there is a xss attack we'll test for the url redirection to those parameter using the intruder of the burp suit so we have to take care of this status code which starts with 3xx so we'll see all about that in the upcoming lecture about the url forwarding domain redirection domain forwarding so you can see the open redirection attack processes right here. So this upper part is basically a successful login to the trusted site. So user will click a link to a trusted site over here and there is a SSL encryption going over here. So it is the trusted site and user will log into the site successfully. But if there is 301 redirection, then user will receive the redirect and user will be redirected to the malicious site they won't be going to the trusted site instead they will be redirected to the malicious site and this is the malicious site so user can input anything in this malicious site and hacker can assess that information of the user from this malicious site so redirection can be also powerful attack in the case of this xss attack so first of all we'll see how this open redirection work in the real website and we'll see how intruder works with the different payload that can be injected in the url to redirect from this legit website to the malicious site of the hacker so we'll see all about that in this upcoming lecture see you in the next one now let's see about the open URL redirection through some parameters. So parameters are normally the attribute that is associated with the URL that will be responsible for the URL redirection. So we'll just see some of the important parameters and we'll see the live action of those vulnerabilities in the next lecture. But for now, let's get some theory over here. So these are the couple of parameters which will be responsible for the redirection. So you'll have the redirect direct path url open dir navigation view so return next so if you ever get some parameters that starts with redirect then you can simply open that parameter and just make sure you enter any url to that redirect parameter and let's see that if it redirects to that website or not and if it redirects there should be the url redirection but if it doesn't redirect to the new web page then there is no open url redirection so we'll just see some of these parameters which is basically these get parameters and these parameters are really important because these are the primary parameters that will just give us some url redirection so here are quick examples so you'll have any url over here and there will be your url parameter that will be embedded in the original url and with this url parameter you can now 
inject your target HTTP websites so you can have your HTTP website over here this can be malicious website that can contain the payload or you can put any website over here so you will just target for this URL for this next or basically this is also the next parameter and you can also see for the URL that is with the encoding so instead of just HTTP you can just encode like this way so that it would be open URL redirection and the next one is a view over here so view is also responsible as we have already shown here that in the number seven view is also the parameter that is responsible for the url redirection so there can be the target directly embedded in the view and another is login to there can be the login to parameter return url parameter will will inject the payload or a list of a payload that can be the customized payload or that can be simple payload and we'll see all of that examples in the upcoming lecture and get good grabs on each of these storms of the url redirection so see you in the next one